Hi, welcome. I'm Amber Adrian, and this is something that will shift your entire life if you choose, if that's what you desire right now. If not, this will offer you exactly what you need in this moment to feel better, to take the next step, to move forward, to take a nap, whatever it is you need today, this can offer you. All we need to do is just take a moment and set, set that intention. My intention for this is to help you realize all the way down to your bones that you are pure love and divinity. That is your core. Anything else, including whatever in your brain says otherwise, it's just a layer draped over your core. But your core shines so brightly, those layers are beginning to catch fire and just drift away. So my intention is that we remove a few more layers that are sitting on top of you so that you can really feel and know the truth of yourself the truth of your core, the truth of your wisdom, the truth of your access to create divine creativity, the kind of creativity that, you know, Michelangelo and J.K. Rowling is always the one that comes to my mind. You know, you have access to the same creative genius that any of your favorite authors, artists, musicians, you have the same access that they do. Swear to God, you do. And so my aim here is to help you understand, not understand because you already know this, it's to help you remember that this is the truth, to remind you that this is the truth and that your core is pure love and your core is, it's magnetic. It is divine creation and you can create from a space of divinity, from your higher self, you can create anything that you desire to feel and receive and experience in your life and in the world. Because of course, we are the ones who are creating the world now. And I don't mean that to say like, because, <laughs> you know, you just need to turn on the news to see what the world is doing right now. But what I'm offering is that we can shift that. We have the power to do that. And so that power begins within us. That power begins with understanding and remembering our own power, remembering our own love, our own light. And um, I feel that that is something that we can really, really dive into right now and really move some of, if not all of, whatever's standing in your way to, to feel the way you want to feel, to create the way you want to create, to live and experience life and the world in the way that you want to live and experience it. So how are we going to do that? We're going to do that with some pretty high octane energy work because that is what I do and I love to do it. And yes, it can be done over a video that you get off the internet. Isn't that freaking amazing? So where are we going to start with this? And I'm just going to set, whew, set my intention and feel free to set your own intention for whatever you want to receive from this. And you can rewatch this video as many times as you want and receive different things each time because the energy will come through differently for you depending on what you want and what you need. So take a moment to ask yourself, you know, what is it that I most need and most desire and most want to receive in this moment? And I am setting my intention that this be a powerful reminder of who you truly are, of your own love, light, and power. I set the intention that this be precisely what you need in this moment and that you receive the healing, the activation, the guidance, the wisdom, the love, the energy, the clearing that you most need for whatever is next for you, whatever you're doing now, whatever is coming through for you. And I ask that this help you connect 
with your own innate wisdom, your own creativity, your own, you know, your own unique light. Because of course we are all divine. We're all divine love. We're all divine light. We're all divine wisdom. But we are each our own unique you know, um, translation of that. And so your unique translation of that energy, that love is so vital right now. And that can be, you know, in whatever, you know, in whatever way you want to show up in the world, whether that's as a, a teacher, a parent, a healer, an artist, a writer, a musician, a politician, a, you know, creator of companies that will change the world, a farmer, a, you know, whatever it is you are, you are sharing your own divine love and your own divine light. And if the word divine doesn't really resonate with you, insert your own, you know, and if anything that I say at any point doesn't resonate with you, that doesn't have to be your truth. You choose your own truth. You know what is right for you. You know what is guided for you right now. And so always listen to that over anybody else. So the intention here is to remove a few more layers, if not all of the layers that might still be blocking you from feeling and knowing and understanding fully who you are and what your power is and the strength of your love. So because of course this will help us do anything we want. This will, this is like always the next step. The next step is always coming closer to the truth of you, the core of you. So, hooray, isn't that great? <laughs> okay, so take a few deep breaths with me. Know that you are held by the ground. You are held by the world around you. You are held by the air surrounding you. You are held by your own body. You are held by your guides, by source light, by the universe. You are held, even if that's not something that fully resonates with you yet, Allow the possibility that you are held, that you are seen, that you are known, that you are loved so deeply and so profoundly in a way that our human brains actually can't quite fathom yet. Although I'm hoping that soon that fathoming <laughs> will be easy for all of us. So as you know that you are held and supported by the ground, by the air, by your own body, by the love and the divine wisdom and guidance that always surrounds us by the knowledge that the second we have a question, the answer to that question already exists in our field. We just have to open ourselves up to receiving it. So from this place, feel your heart beat. You can even put your hand over it if that feels right. Put a hand over your heart, maybe a hand on your belly, or both hands over your heart. Feel your heart beat. And as your heart beats, it is clearing your space of anything that doesn't belong to you. Because of course, we humans are very sensitive instruments. We pick up on the suffering of others. We pick up on the thoughts of others. We pick up on the beliefs of others. And sometimes we take those feelings, thoughts, and beliefs into our own space. We assume them, we take, take them on. Now, nothing can ever get into our space without our permission. So if you feel that maybe you've been acting from thoughts that aren't your own, or you've been feeling feelings that don't really feel right, that you don't believe are yours, we can just take a moment right now to rescind all permission granted to other energy, other feelings, thoughts, beliefs that do not belong to us. And they immediately have to leave. When you take back your permission, when you say, no, if you do not belong to me, you do not get to be in my space, that automatically sends everything out. Now, we can always pull it back into us, and we've all learned how to do that. That's part of 
we are what we do. That's how humans are kind of trained, essentially. But we don't have to allow that in anymore. So just in this moment, take a deep breath. Feel your heart beating and clearing your space. And say, I no longer allow anything that does not belong to me to influence me. And this is you stepping out of the matrix. This is you stepping out of many, 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 many layers that have been coding, have been, you know, glomming onto and just like sitting on top of your own light, your own power, your own belief, your own decision, your own creativity, your own everything. So as we release with love, everything that doesn't belong to us, space immediately clears. You might be able to feel it. It's moving away from you now. And you are, your heartbeat is clearing out the space. It's healing and filling up your space with only your own vibration, with your own pure, unique energy, with your own flow, with your own light, if you will. And so as you feel this space clearing, you've just made room for whatever it is that you want. You've just made room for that relationship, for that money, for that job, for that book, for that anything you want. You've just created space for that. And so as you think about what you want, if that's what you're doing right now, Know that whatever it is you want is always about how you will feel when you have it. Because we don't want things just to want them, no matter how awesome and fun they sound. All we ever want is to feel the way we believe we'll feel when we have that thing. And since the power of your feeling is already within you, since you never feel loved because someone else loves you. You feel loved because your love, the love that you have, is reflected back to you by them. So knowing that we can always feel the way we want to feel, no matter what the external circumstances are, take a moment and ask yourself, how would I like to feel? When this thing occurs, and just for the sake of argument, choose one. Choose the one that feels most urgent, the one that feels most exciting. Choose the one that you've been wanting a lot, whatever it is. Choose whichever thing feels good. And know that you can feel how it will feel to have it right the F now. So know that this is possible for you. And if You've tried it in the past and it, ha it felt like it hasn't worked or it feels like it's not possible. It's likely because you had so much other stuff going on in your field. And we've just cleared your field. Your field has just cleared. You are only, you are, you are sitting, you are standing, you are being in your own energy right now, possibly for the first time in your life. And so as you feel that, Perhaps there are emotions that are coming up that are just rising up to be cleared. Even if they don't feel good at all, breathe through them. In, out. Know that those feelings don't mean anything about you. They don't mean anything about your life. They don't necessarily speak the truth. They are real. Never, you know, never discount your feelings because your feelings are real and they are valid and they are part of this process. So allowing yourself to have those feelings and to just notice them as they move through your energy without trying to stuff them down into your spleen where hopefully they'll just die or without making them mean something, without letting a story in your brain start to spin around what that feeling means. Like if loneliness is coming up, our brains will jump in and try to, you know, 
tell us why we feel lonely. Like, oh, well, it's because of this, that, and the other thing. It's because this person hasn't called me back. It's because I don't have this relationship yet. It's because this person has passed away. It's because X, Y, and Z. And none of that is true. It's simply a feeling. It's simply energy rising up and rising out. And so as we just feel it, feel it as a physical sensation, as a physical pulsing, whatever that feeling is, positive or negative, and the positive and negative are just, you know, words and assumptions and judgments that we've put on them as humans. Whatever it is you're feeling, it is just moving out right now and allowing yourself to just feel it, breathe it, and not make it mean anything. That allows it to leave. And that's another layer that has just gotten you that much closer to really being able to see, feel, and believe, and know your own love, your own light, your own power, your own higher self, your own core. So, whatever this thing is that you've been desiring, just take a moment to feel it. Take a moment to feel how it will feel to already have it. You already have it. It's already shown up. It's done. How do you feel? And now just breathe with this feeling. Bask with it. And if at any point it feels like what we're doing here isn't working, you can just take a moment and set the intention, okay, this does work. I do know how to do this. I do know how to do this because you do know how to do this. You were born knowing how to do this. I'm just helping you remember. I'm just helping you step back into what is truly possible for you, what is truly possible for all of us. So feel the feeling of what you want. Of course, you don't want the thing. You don't necessarily want the experience. You just, you want the feeling. And you have access to the feeling right now. And as you bonus, as you feel the feeling, that's how you start to create that thing in your reality, in your external reality, in your field. Because you are the most powerful creator in the universe. Yes, you are. So am I. Isn't that fun? So as you feel that feeling, you know that it's also not about that feeling. It's actually about feeling that pulsing of your own energy, that pulsing of your own unique tone, that pulsing of your own pure, pure love, your own divine beautiful, unique encoding of that light, of that love. And it's your, that's the, it's the vibration of your soul. And when you can tap into the vibration of your soul, that's when, you know, the path just unfolds in front of you. That's when things begin to show up. That's when you start to feel truly at peace and truly in love with yourself because of course you are the most lovable most worthy most brilliantly shining you know piece of humanity in existence just as we all are we just have to remember that that's the truth we just have to let ourselves you know feel that and then let ourselves shine that into the world and that's when we start to do, be, create, experience, you know, all the things, because while it's not about the things or the doings or the experiences, that's also why we're here. We're here because in this body, we can actually create very powerfully. And when we do, it's just a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun. That's why we're here. We're here to play in this reality. We're here to play in this body. And so the first step to that is to remember that that's possible for us to, to tap into that tone. So we're gonna do some healing, some energy work right now to help you really feel the tone of your own soul, help you vibrate at the highest, purest resonance of you, which is really cool. And I'm gonna have some water first because I've been talking a lot. I should have gotten more water before I started this thing. Okay, so take a moment, feel yourself, and now feel your heart beating. 
Feel your higher self join you. Your higher self is always with you, but really feel your higher self consciously and connect your heart to the heart of your higher self. As you do that, as you connect your heart to the heart of your higher self, you begin to feel yourself vibrate at your true tone, feel yourself vibrate in your own energy, in the truth of who you are and what you are capable of, which is everything. And as you feel that, let it sink into your awareness, let it sink into your heart, let it sink into your bones, let it seep through your skin, feel it pulsing in the air around you and know that this is you in your divinity. This is you in your true love, your true light. This is you able to create, feel, experience, be anything you choose. Anything you choose, anything that brings you joy, anything that sounds like fun, anything that makes you feel excited, makes you feel alive, makes you feel loved, makes you feel loved anything at all, whatever sounds like the most fun to you is possible in this vibration, in this tone. So feel it. If you feel like you can't feel it, that's okay. Know that it's happening anyway. Know that it's happening anyway. And it's just, this is just part of your experience of it, your path. And every experience is perfect. There is no right or wrong experience here. Just let it sink into your muscle memory so that you can return to this every day and you return to it through the beat of your own heart and connecting the beat of your heart to the beat of your higher self. And you know, your higher self is the part of you that always knows the answer, the part of you that can heal you physically, emotionally, spiritually, energetically. This is the part of you that always, you know, has a higher perspective and the the loving view of whatever's going on in your life and you can access that anytime you want. So just feel it. Know it. Know that you can access this anytime you want and that when you do, it will clear out your fields, other people's nonsense, other people's Hulk smash emotions, Bye bye not your circus, not your monkeys. And it will help you call in and receive whatever it is you're doing next in from a place of pure love, from a place of pure light, from a place that feels really good to you, whether you call it pure light or not. So I hope that's helpful. I hope that gives you exactly what you need today. And I hope that you come back whenever you need it, whenever you need more of this. If you'd like to do more with me, my name is Amber Adrian, and you can find me online at amberadrian.com. A-D-R-I-A-N. And I would love to see more of you if this felt good. So, all my love. <laughs>